If I ain't in the picture, I'll get in the picture. Uh, today, I hope you can hear me. Today, what we're going to do is try and reclaim the yard cart that got burned up in the old fire. So, uh, went to uh, Tractor Supply, bought two tires, and I've already put them on. Uh, they're about 20 bucks a piece. A couple of carter pins here. And uh, so we're resurrected there. And uh, we're going to knock the rust off of this. And got some Scotch Bright pads, a little rust oleum paint. I'm going to try to paint this thing up a little bit so that every time you don't you touch it, you don't become rusty or filthy. So that's the idea out of this uh, today. So let's get started. We'll check in in just a minute. Okay, we kind of hit this thing in a lick and a promise. Go with the scotch bright pad. I think after we wipe it down a little bit here, let it dry, then uh, we're going to be pretty close to being ready for uh, some rust oleum paint. Please realize this thing wasn't pristine to start with. And it's not trying to be pristine now. All it's trying to be is functional and not filthy and uh, and usable. So uh, not going to worry too much about the inside of it. We did sand it a little bit. We are going to spray paint it a little bit, but it gets messed up pretty bad anyway. The thing was old when I got it, and it's falling apart. And we have to bolt it back together a little bit. But uh, I think we can get a couple more years out of it anyway. So uh, that's really what we're trying to do. We have kind of sanded the underside of it a little bit here. And uh, sanded the tongue. And uh, I think it'll clean up okay. The mechanism will work on it. Axle's still good. Spring's still good. Uh, so, it's kind of where we are on it. Uh, we'll get back to doing a little more sanding and a little more cleaning and get ready to paint. So, uh, that's where we are. Well, we moved the uh, yard cart over here into the driveway where I could get the water hose to it so I could wash it off uh, best I could. Plus, it's uh, more out in the sun and we're gonna have to hose it off a little bit more get the dirt off of it uh, so we'll do that right here but it is hotter than a blue bastard out here but uh, get the dirt off of it where, uh, where I flopped it around a little bit so hose that thing off and uh, some repair right there to the front of it's got to happen uh, but uh, other than that, uh, it didn't hurt the tongue or anything else like that. So uh, other than that, that's the tailgate to it right there. So other than that, I don't know how much of that did I get right. Okay, there's tailgate. It didn't get burned up as bad, so it didn't need as much. So we're going to let the uh, sun take care of it, dry her off a little bit and shoot her with some paint. But it's hotter than the son of a bitch out here. Did want to show you one thing. It's only been a week since the uh, since the fire, really. Oh, actually, yeah, two weeks, actually. Two weeks, I'm sorry, two weeks since the fire. But uh, look how Mother Nature heals itself and that kind of stuff. It's uh, when you get over here you start looking at the ground and stuff all that which was black is now covered well there ain't all covered but cover a lot of it's covered up with pine straw and stuff again and uh, mother nature is a miraculous thing see how many of these trees mother nature wants to let come back I have my doubts but we will see 
think I heard something one time that all good painters were drunks. I don't know. Far be it from me to break tradition. So, uh, see how this goes on here for a second. I won't bore you with the whole detail, but let's just see. That looks like that's going to do just fine. Let's paint the rest of it. I'll show you the done, show it to you when it's done. Well, that didn't take long to get the top part of it painted. And I think I got a run or two in it, but who the fuck cares? Got to paint the underside. Got a little bit of that done without a. I got two cans of good old Rust-Oleum flat black in it, and got one more can, and we're going to go as far as we can go. And uh, one side of the back painted, the tailgate painted, and we got up underneath there. That's, that's got to happen. So uh, I think I got enough paint to do it. And son of a gun. So we got <coughs> maybe 60 bucks in the resurrection. And it's uh, not too bad. A lot cheaper than a cart. That and a few nuts and bolts, maybe I... Might even break out the damn welder and weld that shit back together. I don't know whether the metal will hold it, but we'll see. Well, and there she is in all her glory. Let's see. Maybe too close. Uh, let's back up. All her glory. All uh, painted up, underside painted, inside painted, tailgate back in it. Uh, you know, it's... Uh, you know, shit, and a new hitch pin. Uh, yeah, four dollars and uh, eighty cent. Uh, that's sweet. But you can see there's some major repairs that's got to happen to the front of it. But other than that, I think it'll work. And it's all painted. Maybe I'll put some flames on it. Maybe I'll put some decals on it. Maybe I'll get me some uh, uh, some, some racing stickers or something. But ah, uh, it looks much better pretty happy about it so uh, you know that was uh, that was a little money saver there so uh, 